Carol uh, Robertson, uh, Rob's wife, and uh, I wanted to meet my mother. Now she lives with us, and uh, we've been here five years in Florida, but before that she lived with us in Chelmsford for 30 years. But Nana, tell them a little about, her name is Irva Lynch, and she's 105, and uh, she's going to tell you a little about where she came from. Came from Saugus. Well, I came. I lived. I came. I was born in Brockton, but I uh, got married and I lived in in uh, Saugus, and we lived in Saugus for uh, quite some time. I had my family there, and brought my family up in Saugus, and they all went to school and graduated in Saugus, and then the boys. Uh, after they graduated, Bobby went in the service, and uh, Arthur was in the Marines, but he was only as a, as a reserve. And Carol, she went government, and she didn't want to go to college, so she went right to work. And uh, she couldn't get a job because she wasn't 18. And so she went around taking tests and she got, oh, a lot of offers and finally went with the government. And she stayed with the government until she got married. And then she still was government because Rob went, went in the service for 20 years and they didn't come out until he had done his quota in the service. And then, uh, I, I was working. I worked for Almy's for 13 years, and my husband passed away, and Carol decided that she wanted to buy a house, but she couldn't buy a house unless she went to work. So she wanted me to take care of her children, who were very young children, and she went to work, and I went to live with Carol and Rob in Chelmsford, and that lasted until they decided to move to Florida, and I'm still with them. <laughs> yeah, and she's doing well in Florida. 33 years later. Yeah, and uh, she's been with us for 33 years, and she's going for the record. I think the oldest uh, woman in the world now is 113, so she's, she'll be 106 in June, so that's what she's aiming for. She has her party every year, and that's coming up pretty soon. And um, but she, uh, she was, she's. You want to say some more? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm ran <I'm, I'm>, out. <laughs> you can cut that part. I, I, I miss the boys, but uh, I, they passed away when they were in their fifties, and I just have Carol and Rob, and they. I'm very fortunate. Very fortunate indeed, because they're very good to me. Okay, and uh, uh, I will show you pictures of us. Okay, these are this is my brother Arthur at the top there, and uh, my brother Bob and myself. We're all about. I think I was 16 there, so Bob was 18 and Arthur was 20, so we're all two years apart. But they passed on. Um, at an early age, 53 and 54, which seems unusual since uh, my mother now is 105. But uh, uh, they followed my father. They had a heart problem. Uh, my father lived till he was 72. But uh, we all love Florida, we love the sun, and uh, not that we sit out in it all the time because we get enough of it. <laughs> But um, it's very cheery, and uh, we all enjoy the flowers and the in the area, and it, we're very active. Even even my mother is. Yeah, my mother says she doesn't dance anymore, <laughs> but she tries. <laughs> and I think she'll want to say a few more words. All I do is crochet all day. And uh, this is a sample of what I do. 
And uh, she's showing it upside down, of course. But <laughs> <laughs> never That's okay. Get, it's never okay. Right. I know, I never get it right. <laughs> but I enjoy doing it, and it keeps me out of trouble. And uh, that's about all I do. I can't get around too good, but if I did, I would be going around just like they are. But uh, I'm satisfied and happy. Very happy down here.